In my opinion, to begin with, you should chew fruits and expel the solids and swallow only the liquids and the fibers that are soluble in water. Otherwise, the solids that are not soluble in water, they simply rot in the body. And just as it is possible to have a runny nose, but it is uncomfortable, so it is possible to have stool, but it is not ultimate. If it were up to me, I would only eat fruit liquids, one fruit at a time until I get tired of it and move on to another fruit according to the seasons of the year. You don't have to worry about living off fruit juices, it really isn't considered fasting. We should be aware of the fact that there are flavors that do not fit our human nature, they are simply not suitable for us to eat. The flavors are bitter, sour, and spicy. If you give them to a baby, he will cry or make a strange face, because these flavors are not suitable for us. It's flavors that suit the earth. It's also alive, and it needs food to be fruitful and multiply. So, what are we doing? We take stones that will be minerals for the wood. Then you take a lemon and squeeze it on the stones because lemon removes scale, meaning it dissolves some of the stone like gemstones of the same color or lead from metals or magnets, and then when it rains, all these minerals are absorbed by the root. We are not supposed to eat seeds, therefore in a watermelon, you should only eat its center because there are no seeds in the center. But the rest of the watermelon is meant to be fertilizer for the other seeds of that watermelon. You see, watermelon is a summer fruit and in the summer, the earth is dry. So you need liquids that will mix with the soil into a paste that the seeds can sow there. A second possibility is to realize that birds eat seeds. And it is possible that if we put a watermelon outside like that, then birds will come and eat the watermelon because they don't have teeth and they don't destroy the seed, the seed then comes out of their body intact and they cause the plants to reproduce in other countries. And therefore, fruit like blueberries are not meant for humans or animal with teeth to eat, they are full of seeds. And the teeth destroy the seed and make it lose its purpose, which is to grow again. We are not supposed to eat parts of plants, but rather to eat fruits or exceptional plants, plants that have the property of fruit because otherwise it will be considered that we have corrupted a plant. And according to the law of reciprocity in nature, whoever corrupts becomes corrupt. So what are the properties of an edible fruit? Its feature is that it has a shell that is an outer layer that contains all the other layers of the fruit. So this layer can be treated as the body of the fruit since it contains the fruit and then we can return the body of the fruit as fertilizer to the root from which it came. And then it will be absorbed by the root and become a fruit again. And so it turns out that we did not spoil anything in our eating. If we ate meat, then that animal would have died and there was no way to bring that animal back to life, but only another animal could be born in its place and therefore it is corruption. But in the fruits, the same fruit becomes fruit again through its root. And we can be sure of this because a tree that is not fertilized then at a certain stage, it produces wormy fruits and then it reaches a stage where it stops producing fruits and then it dies. So the exceptional plants are plants that represent the parts of the plant. Against the seeds, there is corn, almonds, and walnuts. Against the stem, there is celery, sugarcane, and dill. Against the leaves, there is lettuce and cabbage, etc. And against the peel, there are pods of moist and fresh legumes. Of course, the solids that are not soluble in water should not be swallowed, so that they do not rot in the body. Water is not meant for humans to drink, so it is important to get the liquids from fruits. That's why water in nature is open to infections, unlike fruits that have a skin that protects them from infections. Do not be tempted to eat sweet and dry fruits such as carob or fruits that have been heated or dried, because these fruits will make holes in your teeth. For example, dried apricot carob or sweet potato. The solids of the fruit, including the peel, should be returned as fertilizer to the trees. So if you eat an apple, you should expel the solids along with the peel. Then, the fruit becomes a fruit again because it is absorbed by its root as fertilizer. Therefore, it is important to fertilize every tree with the peels and solids of the fruits. If you don't return the solids as fertilizer but swallow them, then they will just rot in your body and stink and be a nuisance. A tree that is not fertilized with its fruit peels, so after a few decades it stops bearing fruit. When you make sure to eat only one fruit for an entire day, a situation is created in which the urine is concentrated in one type of fruit. Therefore, the urine can be returned as fertilizer to the same tree from which the fruit came. Thus, old material that was built up and came out in the urine undergoes renewal and is absorbed by the tree into a new fruit. 
and thus, the fruits renew us again and again. In my opinion, this action can prevent the aging process if we do not corrupt anything in nature. Not by burning, not by electricity, not by felling, not by uprooting, not by slaughter, etc. Because there is a law of reciprocity in nature, those who destroy become corrupt, and those who do not corrupt, like ornamental trees in the rainforests. So they do not become corrupt naturally either, but they continue to exist. In the rainforests, you can see trees that are green from old age and they still continue to exist. Some people need protein, and the liquids of most fruits are not enough for them. Such people should eat corn and not swallow the solids because corn has proteins. And fresh corn is delicious and has the taste of cooked corn. So the freshest corn you can buy today, if you don't grow corn in your field, is frozen corn. Then you just thaw it in lukewarm water from a solar kettle, and it's ready to eat. If you don't have tasty and high-quality corn, then without a choice you can eat whole rice or other sprouted legumes that you like. Sprouting is supposed to prevent gas. People have recovered from chronic diseases using a liquid fruit diet, including type 1 and type 2 diabetes. There are people who manage to drink only fruit juices for 225 days in a row, at the end of which they completely recovered from problems with the structure of the uterus and more. Do not always recover within a month. And you should adopt this diet as a fun and healthy way of life. In addition, you feel energetic, light, and with an inner joy of life, and the aging process simply fades away. Don't forget to leave a like, it helps the algorithm to publish the videos. A way of life to learn from nature. In our temporary channel, we deal with all kinds of interesting areas. Here we will present instructive natural phenomena, and we will talk here about a worldview, which gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. We will talk about sensory acceptance, relationship, worldview, God, nature, mind, soul, depth and paying attention, guides for life, and meanwhile also crazy technology that is in use today. In fact, we will talk here about everything you need to know in order to create a better, meaningful, and more interesting future. So if you are also interested in this type of content, you are invited to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to receive an update on every new video that will be uploaded. A way of life to learn from nature for a better future. Oh, and we've also opened a Hebrew language channel on YouTube if that's more convenient for you. Narration, Jessica from Speechalo. I bought the service for a one-time symbolic payment, 